Hey, Math 31, I had a question on section 5.4, number 69. This was where I was given an expression for the volume of a box, the length, and its width. And if you'll recall, if we're looking at volume, we know volume is length times width times height. And if you wanted to, you could solve that equation for height. And you could do that by dividing both sides by length times width. It would cancel on this side. Right? And if I solved that, I would ultimately get height on this side was equal to volume over length times width. So that's one way to solve for height, and we're going to apply that here. Because I have an expression for volume that I can sub in here. I have an expression for length that I can sub in here, and I have an expression for width that I can sub in here. And if I do that, that fraction, I find that quotient, I'm going to have solved for my height. So that's what you see me doing in all of this shenanigans right here. I substitute in the expression for my volume, the expression for my length, the expression for my width, but I go ahead and I solve for this height using division. Right? And then once we get to division, like always, you have a couple of options. You can use long division to find this quotient, or you can use oops, synthetic division. Now, personally, I'm going to opt to use long division, and I do that because these lead coefficients are not one. Uh, if they were, I would probably go with synthetic division, but they're not, so I'm not going to. And I'm just going to um, use this first binomial, um, 5x minus 4, to do my initial division. I could just have easily done 2x plus 3. I'm just going to go with 5x minus 4. So I'm going to set up my long division. Right, I've got my volume expression here, and I've got my length expression here. So let's let's start doing this. Now it's always lead term to lead term, right? So what do I need to multiply 5x by to get to 10x cubed? Well, let's see, that would be 2x squared. So I'm going to take 2x squared, multiply it to my binomial. That'll give me 10x cubed minus 8x squared. But I do need to remember to subtract it, and I'll just distribute that subtraction so this will become plus. These cancel by design. 27 and 8 gets me to 35. And now I'm going to start this process over. Right, so we're going to go lead term to lead term. All right, so then now let's think, what do I need to multiply 5x by to get to 37, excuse me, 35x squared? That's 7x. Now take 7x, multiply it to that binomial. Right, we're going to go ahead and get 35x squared minus 28x. I have this subtraction I need to do. That will change the sign here. Right, so 35x squared minus 35x squared cancels. 2 plus 28 gets me 30. And then I'm going to bring down that negative 24. Oh, I think I might have forgot to add the last time out to bring down the minus or the positive 2x. All right, but if I run that division one more time, oh, let me do a different color. Right now, we're going to take a look at what do you multiply 5x by to get to 30x, and we know that that's positive 6, right? And then when I run this out, I get a remainder of 0. So, so far, I have, if I want to write this, let me pick another color, I can say my height, right, we know that it's equal to 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. I'm still looking at that over 2, ooh, what was that? Sometimes those turn into triangles and I don't know why, um, over 2x plus 3. And I say 2x plus 3 because I still have that factor left here. I haven't divided that out. All I've done so far is this division. That division simplified to 2x squared plus 7x plus 6, and I still have a 2x plus 3 to go. So now you have options, right? If I want to, I could use long division. which is totally viable. You could go ahead and use synthetic division. Oh, there's that weird triangle again. All right, let me erase that. You could use synthetic division. I am on fire today with whatever I'm doing. Um, disable. What is happening? Delete. Okay, I'm back on it. All right, all I wanted to say was you could use synthetic division. But what I opted to do is I decided just to factor it. I like factoring, so I didn't mess with anything else. So what that means is, I'm going to draw this here. So my height, yes, it was 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 over 2x plus 3. 
but because I know how to factor, and if that's not your strong point, then go with long or synthetic division. I broke this into binomials. We've got 2x and x here. I put 3 and 1 here. Actually, that's not going to be enough. Let me back that up. I need it to be 3 and 2. So let me go 3 here, 2 here. There we go. Why is that triangle doing that? If anyone has any idea, shoot me an email because that thing is bugging me. All right, I'm going to start this over. All right, so here we go. I'm going to factor for reals now, <laughs> 2x and x. And then I'm going to go 3 and 2 that way, plus signs on both. I'm not going to forget that I had a 2x plus 3 here. So because I can cancel these, that leaves me with x plus 2, and that's got to be the height. right? So when I solve this, this is basically x plus 2, so there is the height of my box. And again, I use factoring, but go ahead and use long or synthetic if you want. All right, thanks so much. Take care. Bye.